Have you ever wanted all of the Rick Riordan books ranked, well, just maybe a top 10? Well, Buckquesters here to do it. Hello, fellow Buckquesters! It is I, Aaron the Buckquester. Today I have all of the Rick Riordan books, although I am missing some. They were all considered to go inside the top 10, and also they are listed at the end. This is Rank 10, The Trials of Apollo, The Dark Prophecy. The reason this is Rank 10 is because it was such a great read, and also there, there were the return of the beloved characters Calypso and Leo Valdez. It was one of the most enjoyed reads that I had, and well, it's just a great read, and it's much more fun and better and better every time I read it again, so it is rank 10. But it only gets better from here. Well, let's get right on to the next one. This is rank 9, The House of Hades. This was rank 9 because it was one of the most Epic adventures Percy Jackson and Anne of the Chase shared, and it was just a really great read. And I, if I get this book, I have read it tens of hundreds of times, and well, it's just a great read every time I read it. And personally, it's one of my favorite Heroes of Olympus books. But within the whole Rick Riordan franchise, um, it gotta be a tiny bit lower, but still. It has to be one of the best books. Now, this is Rank 8. This is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, and it is probably the first book that Rick Riordan wrote that actually became really famous. And I read Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, when I was like in second grade or first grade, and it was a really good book then, and I have read it over 10 times, and the, just the sarcasm is absolutely great, and it is the first book that introduced the concept of modern demigods, and it's really creative, like, who would ever imagine that heroes like Hercules and Achilles still exist? They're sarcastic as all teenagers are. Now, this is Rank 7. It is Nine from the Nine Worlds by Rick Riordan, and it is kind of like a side story, but you have to admit, if you read this book, you know that it's so funny. It's like with Thor farting through it, and the short stories are actually really fun, and the action is really cool, and also, as I have already said, it's really, really funny. I mean, I was on the ground laughing, actually, and it was a really good book, and I think that Rick Riordan has the gift of using old myths, rather those myths are Greek, Roman, or even, in this case, Norse, he makes them really funny and really fun to read. This is Rank 6. It is Demigods and Magicians by Rick Riordan, and it is actually a really good book, and it contains, I believe, two short stories and one final ending story. And it's where the two demigods, the daughter of Athena, who is Annabeth, and the Percy Jackson, and Percy Jackson, the two very powerful demigods, meet people who have the same kind of power, otherwise known as the Canes. And I think it was really thrilling to see both demigods and magicians fight side by side. And personally, I'm just hoping that the day will come when Magnus Chase, the Canes, and Anivis Chase and Percy Jackson fight side by side, so that we could see some awesome action. And well, I'm just waiting for that book to be part of the series. This is Rank 5, Magnus Chase to Gods of Asgard, Book 3, The Ship of the Dead. I mean, it was a great book, and I think it was pretty much the finale of the Magnus Chase trilogy, and it was just really great to read. 
and the final battle where Magnus Chase actually has a little bit of a poetry fight that was really heart heartwarming and tear jerking, and I think that the actual idea that like the power of poetry can win over like evil with the power of friendship within it, like that's really tear jerking and heartwarming. And personally, I think that's why that it's on such a high rank. I highly recommend this book, and it is rank 5. This is pretty much rank 4. It is called The Serpent's Shadow, the finale of the Kane, Kane Chronicles. And it was just a great battle, and at the end, when gods and magicians fight, Side by side, that is such an epic battle, and it was absolutely a page turner. And the desperate fight against time to find the shadow of a Apostles. I mean, that's one book that I will never forget. And personally, the final battle was one of the greatest. But I gotta say that there are better finales, like some finales are like, they suck, but some finales are like big final battles, and this, I think, is the latter, the big final finale. And this is rank 4, and I highly recommend to read it, read you to read this as of every book that is on this list, and personally, I think it's one of my favorites. This is rank 4. Three, the Trials of Apollo, The Tyrant's Tomb. It is the book four of the Trials of Apollo series, which is having the final book, The Tower of Nero, next year. And personally, it is one of my favorite books because Rick Riordan always seems to follow so well through modern times. And it is, I think, rank two in the best books read in 2019. And personally, I mean, it was such a great book with a great finale with the, it's like the Wakanda thing part. I mean, that was a classic. It was so funny. And it's one of my favorite books. And it is ranked three from all the books of Rick Freehold. Guys, you have been waiting for this. This is rank two. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the final book. The Last Olympian. This book was an absolutely epic and fitting finale for the Percy Jackson series. And also with Percy riding on Blackjack and the battle for New York with all the demigods against the monsters. And the epic part with the dead rising and Lord Hades vs. Kronos, that was an absolutely epic scene. And personally, it is basically one of my favorite books. Not including, well, including all of the books that I've read. And, well, it's just a great book. A fitting finale for the awesome Percy Jackson series, and it is rank 2. Now, we are going to go for rank 1. So guys, are you ready for it? For the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate rank 1? Well, let's get right on to it. This is what you all have been waiting for. The first... Heroes of Olympus, The Blood of Olympus, the final book of the Heroes of Olympus series containing the seven demigods of the Prophecy of Seven. It has not only one, but two final battles who are both equally as awesome, which is, you know, the first battle, which is Demigods and gods fight side by side against the evil giants and the final final battle where they fight against Gaia herself It was really really fun, and I think it's just one of the most epic books in the world and Yeah, it's one of the greatest books and that's why it is rank one and I think most people would have expected this and Well, that is rank one guys the Camp Half Blood Confidential, the Hotel Valhalla Guide to the North World, alongside with the first book, 
and the second book of the Magda Chase and the Gods of Asgard series, The Sword of Summer, and the Hammer of Thor, and the third book of the Kane Chronicles series, The Serpent's Shadow. I will include these three books inside the review, but I just don't have them, so yeah. That was it guys, the top 10 ranks of all Rick Riordan books. Do you agree with the ranking? Comment down below. And like always, your book quester or in the book quester. Really, really great books. And personally, I think you should read every single book Rick Riordan wrote. You know, except the really boring ones. Thank you and have a good day.